Now, hello there, or howdy, as I would say. Diary entry for the 21st of November 2015. Now, today was pretty quiet, nothing fancy, as one would say. I was going to go to the cinema, but last night I made my mind not to bother going because, consider there's not that much films out there. And besides, I'd say Cineworld, who the cinema I go to, I'd say they'd be they're holding out all the films that I that I'm looking forward to, if you put it that way, for the big shot, which is due to be released in December 16th, I think, in Ireland. Which I get, as you can all get it, that's for the um, Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Now, like I said, there's not that much films out there, so or these days, so that's why I don't go to films as much. But that said, though. I say when Cineworld does release the film, or when Cineworld does release Star Wars the film, there'll be plenty of lots of geeks and nerds and Star Wars, or whatever the term is I've heard of, but whatever it is. But anyway, moving on though. So I decided to head instead to Elgin Oil instead, which is, which I had prearranged in the past, in previous days, you know? However, eh. Uh, that said though, when I set the alarm for 8.15pm, I turned it off, which so that I could get up at 8.35, because I was, I was literally tired and groggy, I don't know why, but I was. But for some strange reason, I couldn't find one, and to this time, I still can't find it, so I could, uh, obviously need it when I get up for my sis, you know? She's due to come down to me for downloading tomorrow, be today, <laughs> right? So I looked at my other phone, the Lumi. I reported the time was 9.07 Now, as I said in diary entry, what the hell just happened? Like, what the fuck is it or WTF? Like, literally, it just baffles me and it still baffles me, you know? So I got up at 9.15 instead and apologized to both of them profusely. Well, just that. Uh, and they wondered why was I late. One of them guessed I was... St I just got out of bed. The other thought I was at the computer or something like that, so... I don't know. Either way... That's what I did. So I just still don't know what happened exactly. So then, with this in mind, I headed off all to Edition Old, himself, as part of my monthly schedule, like I do with Mardi. We had a, a lovely spon level sponge cake. Um, oh, it was heaven. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Then, part of the chatting, we were yakking about Dad's brother and my, oh, that's right, yeah, about, and my sexuality. Now, she was, uh, I don't know how it came up to be honest with you, like, oh, we had plenty of talk, that's all I can remember, about my ex, and about my this, about my dad, well yeah, that's what, she was just comparing my dad's side and my mother's side of the family, that's what it was, and I was saying that my mother's side is obviously, they changed over time in terms of accepting my sexuality, whereas my father's side, they probably wouldn't. Now obviously they do, they don't know I'm gay, which I don't plan on telling them, but just in case, you know. But that said though, um, did, 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 did. I said that they literally are anti-gay and possibly they would never change. But that's obviously because I hardly see them. Now obviously they see it on the news and this and that, but as Ange rightly points out, if you knew Someone in your own family tree came out as gay. Would that change your perception? It may or may not, depending. But I'm not going to bother giving it a go, because I think I had my fair share of coming out on one side. It could be horrible on the other side, I don't know. So that said, we left it at that. So although, although just a handful of my folks or my dad's side family knows, like more his sister-in-law, which... He despises between you and me, you know? <laughs> and Creona, who is dad's sister's daughter, aka niece. Now, she's the Baltimore on my Facebook, hence, hence the obviously no one gave, but I actually remember telling Creona at the time, just in case she, uh, she had any issues, you know? Not that I wouldn't care, but I wouldn't like her to be seeing, like, considering she's a relative, and I wouldn't like her to be seeing uh, pro gay stuff, like, obviously not hot tea. Hot teeth, as I call them, but more so, um, I wouldn't be in favor of. What am I trying to say here? Oh, wait, I don't want to be putting gay rights stuff. I don't want to put gay rights stuff, and I'll continue. 
But then when she removes me, that will crush me. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, moving on. Now, um, the reason it crushed me is because I required this term family in my life. Considering before I came out, I had, I had that. Friends, I prefer to have the friends before I came out, but there's not much you can do. But when my family tree said goodbye, that really went through me. At times it still bothered me, but not as much as it used to. But, um, it's because the majority of the crowd that I used to have before I came out are back in my life again, so that's why I'm not as bad. I ain't even it. So, hence my babies. You can see Lippy. No, who's that? Nelly, is it? Lil, not Lil, like Lighty. And Bobby's hanging there. You can see his arse there. <laughs> Where my fingers at. So then moving on, of which I couldn't, and then I got talking about Christmas and she and age but wonderful memories back. Whereby on the 8th of December every year, which we haven't done now for several years now, but uh, maybe it's to do suicide or could be big R3, I don't know. But anyway, every, on, every year on the 8th of December, my dad and I would actually do the trimming of the tree and taking down decorations, and, well, from the attic I should say putting the majority of them up and all that stuff and then my mum says we're going to town because we used to have the day off on that particular day from school you see you know and I think college college is kind of different I, if I recall right but anyway, whatever so then the two the two women my sister and my mum were going to town for Prezi shopping and for gift wrapping all the you know the frills as they call it maybe cars maybe that my daughter's that and then Every time my dad would be writing the cards, I would get very bored. I'd be saying to myself, oh god, I really wish he would do more uh, putting up decorations, you know. Obviously, I was a young little lad, you know. <laughs> like, his age wasn't an issue at the time. God, it was just a laptop. <laughs> I thought there was something on my nose here. It's just a laptop screen dirty. So then, but obviously at the time, there was no such thing as Facebook back in... I think Facebook existed in 2004, it was established, but I didn't start using it until about 2005-06, short before I came out, you know, which was 2009, to be precise, but I was on it an odd time in 2000, pre-2009, but an odd time, so then, and then, of course, we had the internet back in those days, but wasn't as fast, that's so why I said I was bored, or I would be, so then, uh, they understood like mom and dad. Okay, so I told them of the two new jobs Which one of the which obviously they obviously will heartedly agreed with the cleaning job My back wouldn't be able to take it. In fact, would you believe it? The back was Killing me up in Alish, you know, I don't know why but it was So it could be the coldest part and I don't know and then when I told her about the new job which is officially supposed to start tomorrow but that said, I won't be taking it up, I'll be sending him an email, declining the offer. But um, what I'm trying to get here is that, the fact that they both agree with what mom and dad would tell me yesterday, which was on the Friday, I went up to them, that, uh, what's the name, the, base, the, the fact there's no basic wage, you know, there's no safety net, you know. So if I don't make any sales, I don't get anything, you know. So she even thought if it were legit. But I don't know if it's legit now. That's what came across her mind. So, do you think George, this is legit? Like, so I don't know. The fact I went into a building, that kind of says it all. I don't know. It all depends. So then, Edge then went on to tell me, I don't know why he came up. Michael Gill. Now, he's a guy from Boston. Well, yeah, he himself is from Boston, Massachusetts. His wife, Mary, I think it is. It's from Donegal in Ireland, and uh, they call up to her, Alicia's father, Brendan, and and what reaction I got, considering I hadn't heard the name Michael Gill in years. Like he used to visit our house up in Cleveland and not uh, here and there, but mom and dad haven't spoken the word or breathed his word name out ever. So maybe he obviously hasn't visited them either. And then I 
the fact that he's living in Ireland, like up in Donegal with his wife, I don't know. But either way, so I just, for curiosity reasons, I just had to ask, how was he related to Brendan? He called up to Brendan on the way to the airport, for a couple hours, you know, because he was out heading to the airport for whatever reason. So I asked, how is he related to Brendan, this Michael Gilfar? He's Brendan's first cousin, i.e. Michael's mother and Brendan's father are brother and sister. That's what I could gather. I'm almost sure, or it could be Michael's brother, uh, Michael's father and Brendan's mother are brother and sister. Now that I think about it and say it out loud, I don't. Need, I think it's a former, which is Michael's mother and Brendan's father. A brother and sister. So, there you go. There you have it. And I've been looking at, um, what you call them, not standing for the night. So I'm about to wrap up and now head off to sleep slumbers. So I'll speak to y'all later. And sweet dreams, y'all, alright?